Hello, everybody. This is the Bear here. We're back at Hollywood Studios. Going to a place that I don't want to go. I tried very hard and many Hollywood trips to get him to agree to this review. So I forced it upon him. I've already placed the mobile order, so he has no choice. We're going to ABC Commissary. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do this. Be sure to have a television tab. You heard the girl. One time I ordered a watermelon margarita not to troll there. It was just all that they had. It definitely tastes like a freshly um, cut piece of watermelon. Nice little seedless watermelon. Nice and like refreshing, I guess is the word. It, it, it will cool you down on a hot day. I give it three out of five watermelons. It almost feels like I only come to this place to be miserable. I have zero faith in her ability to cook food. I mean that in the most disrespectful way as possible for the food, not the employees. I mean, that's great. But a watermelon margarita? Oh boy. It's like you melted a watermelon Jolly Rancher and then put tequila in it. Cheap tequila. One and a half out of five plus. It'll get you drunk, but you won't enjoy it. The second and only option, well, the only second option on the menu for an adult beverage is this Happy Days, which we have had before in some of our previous videos. I am not a fan of this drink because there is coconut in it. like a pina colada. One out of five coconuts. Happy days. If you're gonna spell days with a Z, there's already a problem. I wanna like it. That's too much coconut even for me. And the coconut with the melon just makes the coconut stronger. Two out of five plus. Bear told me to stop ordering all of the plant-based items on the menu. So what I do, I ordered all of the plant-based items on the menu. There's only two. Beyond Burger. Pretty sure this is like the same Beyond Burger we had in the past. It has sauce. It has a wilted lettuce, a fat piece of Beyond patty, and then these like toasted veggies. I actually like the sauce. The sauce almost tastes like a Thousand Island, but it's not. What kills the burger for me is actually the um, roasted peppers and onion. It just doesn't jive with like the sauces that they use on this burger. I'm gonna give it a two out of five Beyond Burgers. And then we have these steak fries, which I appreciate that they're not like your typical Disney shoe sing shoestring fry. They're also not salted. So they're just as disappointing as eating a shoestring fry. There's really no point in making this a steak fry. Two out of five fries. Beyond please real hard. Because if you take the burger out of the burger, it's slow burger. I appreciate the peppers and that it shows a desire to do something different than slap it beyond the wing two pieces of bread and maybe a tomato. I would have liked to see some like vegan cheese on this, but beggars cannot be choosers. Well actually, you have other options. You don't have to come here. I 
it's very confusing. The patty's cooked. You even got a little bit of char to it. So you know how to cook it. But the peppers seem to be fighting the sauce. But they don't get along. You can't sit them in the same row. They're not gonna talk at parties. Maybe they've been one or the other. But together, I'm not feeling it. Two out of five plus. And then the good old steak free. Passes the fry test. Nice and thick cut. Huh? So some of them are salted. You still like you just needed a good shake. I've definitely been sitting for a little bit though. Two and a half out of five plus. As much as Bear does not want to admit this, in the before times, like right before Holland Studios closed, ABC Commissary was kind of getting up there with their options. They had some good stuff, especially their breakfast. Their breakfast was really good. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. I feel like this tofu dish was like an evolution of the offerings that they were starting to have right before the park closed. We'll see if it's any good. We have some curry and veggies in here. I see uh, zucchini and squash. And then we have some crispy tofu. And some sticky rice. Alright, I'm failing at this. I give up. This dish is spiced very well. It's almost like something you would get at Sanaa. Got a nice little tang to it. Like a little kick, like a slight burn at the end. The tofu isn't too like over crisp. The veggies are cooked very well. The sauce is decent and the sauce is seasoned. So that's good. The rice is sticky rice. Um, I would definitely pick this over the burger. I'd probably give this four out of five so weak. Four out of five soybeans. Now that I've had more of the curry, I do feel like it's sort of like a discount curry. We've had better curries at like Chiku or even the Wave. They're a little more flavorful, but this is like your discount curry because it's like quick service. So it's like what you would expect from like the fast food quick service. It's not, you know, the Wave level. Inside. I don't have a problem with curry. I like curry. This bowl is laid out pretty well. It's a healthy portion. You definitely get a ton of the tofu in here, zucchini. There's some carrots and onion pieces in here. And a nice healthy amount of rice. Which is good. And I hope it is. Then uh, it can be pretty filling with it. a little bit of the sauce. It's a uh, spirits of zucchini. Some tofu. A little itty bitty rice. Just a little bit. That's enough. Huh. I know. It's got some flavor. Tofu is not the nice breaking to it. It's not too thick, not too hard. No a soft texture to it. The kidneys go away through and soak up some of the sauce. And the rice is cooked perfectly. Little sesame seeds on top. Honestly, I have nothing to complain about. This is actually much better than I had any right to expect from this place. I'll give credit where credit's due. Four to five claws. I would come in here and eat this. Well, I wouldn't really come here. But if I was forced to come here like today, I would definitely order this. I ordered the shrimp curry, which basically appears to be the exact same as Princess's. Just they took out some of the tofu. That's so, so I don't know. Not tofu, it's all zucchini, so they just took out the tofu and added shrimp. Now I don't have as many shrimp as the princess said tofu, but for most places that's an expectation. You're never gonna have as many shrimp as you actually want. Let's just go ahead and dive in here. The shrimp look cooked well enough, they're not like overly rubbery. 
It wouldn't cook well, fresh. I feel like you could use a little bit more spice. Or a hot sauce bar, as I keep begging for every place at Disney. But it's got a lot of flavor. It's a good, hellish looking meal. I know it's for this. This will get the same rating as the princesses. Three and a half out of five bars. If you told me that it was box curry, I'd believe you. That moment when you got a drink that you didn't really want to drink, but you have to finish it because I commit to my mistakes. ABC Commissary. Better than I expected. It's uh, still middle of the run, not the greatest place, not our number one choice, not our number two choice, not our number five choice. You're still fighting to get me here. Yeah. It's nice that they have a different option on the menu. I like to see things like that continue and maybe, just maybe one day, this is a place that I actually recommend to people. Right now, it's a little flat now. If you're gonna quick service here, go to Batu, go to Woody's Lunchbox. Hell, even go to Rosie's Ro uh, All American. Go to Rosie's All American, yeah. Not ABC. This fake table service restaurant. Anyway, let me know what you are going to visit here at Hollywood Studios on your next uh, trip in the comments. Please tell me it's on ABC Comments. If so, still let us know. If there's any other places you'd like to see us go around Hollywood or Walt, Walt Disney World, period, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.